Emily is here now with more on that. Thanks so much. Good afternoon. We do stay blustery and warm this afternoon, adding in the possibility for scattered storms in the Pikes Peak region and in the mountains throughout the rest of the afternoon and early evening. This is another glance outside, this time from our Safe Splash Swim School Neighborhood Weather Network camera. Temperatures above average at 73 degrees. Wind speeds at this camera location staying under 10 miles an hour. We're seeing some developing clouds over the Rockies. We'll see clouds increase throughout the afternoon. Into 4 o'clock, temperatures soar to the upper 70s to upper 80s within Colorado Springs and Pueblo, staying quite warm into the early evening hours. Wind gusts are going to be breezy. We'll see some wind gusts up into the 20 mile per hour zone. We've already seen some wind speeds up into that range already. Live HD Doppler radar so far relatively quiet, but we are beginning to develop a couple of spotty showers near and surrounding Canyon City and into Florence. Nothing looks very strong, though. As we see some storms developing into the Pikes Peak region and the mountains, uh, we'll see that continue throughout the afternoon uh, before diminishing later on tonight. Not everyone is going to see showers. In fact, for the most part in the lower elevations, we do stay dry. Chief Meteorologist Rachel Plath is going to be tracking those scattered showers that develop tonight for you, and she'll bring you up the latest coming up at 4. Into tomorrow, we have a better chance of seeing storms. In fact, for everyone along and north of the Palmer Divide, we have a marginal to slight risk of severe storms developing Saturday afternoon, with large hail and gusty winds going to be the primary threats. So do make sure to stay weather aware going into tomorrow. Lows overnight tonight, dropping to the 40s for the I-25 corridor, 40s and 50s for the eastern plains. Tomorrow, temperatures are expected to be cooler. We'll have a cold front rolling through tonight, and that's going to help drop temperatures going into your Saturday. We'll also see more clouds and more showers tomorrow. Even more showers expected as we go into your Sunday. Monday, keeping in the possibility for storms with an unsettled trend all the way through the end of next work week. 74 for tomorrow in Pueblo, upper 60s we drop for Mother's Day. Temperatures really just fluctuate in the 70s Monday through Friday, with showers ending in the Steel City next Friday. But up until that point, things are looking pretty active. I'll step out of the way so you can check out Canyon City's seven-day forecast. 70 degrees for tomorrow, mid-60s on Sunday, Monday through Thursday. The chance for storms, drier conditions possible Friday. 54 for tomorrow in Teller County, low 50s Sunday through Monday. Uh, just staying in the 50s through next Friday with daily chances for afternoon showers and storms. Let's talk about Mother's Day. So many folks probably want to do some brunch. I'm saying the patio outdoors might not be the best option. There could be some scattered showers along the Palmer Divide Sunday morning. Others look to stay dry Sunday afternoon. That's when things start to look like we uh, add in the chance for some storms. We will have another look at overnight lows coming up next. All right, Mom, we'll just have to cook indoors. I mean, be served indoors. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's clarify that. Thanks, Abby.